start this session. The name of the session is uh, especially for you. Why is it fine to have an engineering degree and not be an engineer? Okay. So I'm assuming everyone here is engineer, right? Um, so a bit of background of myself, why I'm taking this session is because, of course, I found that this is the most appropriate session to go and speak about in bar camp because there's, there's hardly anyone who hasn't done B or B Tech and is here right now at bar camp attending. So my background, I am from Bits Pilani. I did MSc Honours Chemistry and B Honours Civil Engineering. Yeah, I can't remember everything perfectly. With uh, a CGP of five, uh, no, 6.33, got changed in the last semester. And right now I am working with Your Story, uh, largest digital media platform for startups and entrepreneurs, where I write. I have been changing roles. I, I was into campaigns, engagements, uh, basically everything which is not related to civil engineering or MSc chemistry. And uh, as far as chemistry is concerned, all civil engineering is concerned, I know as much as any one of you sitting here, if you are not from that branch or you might know more. So this is a brief about me and yeah, please uh, keep your phone in silent mode otherwise, you know, prefer doing it. Just a small session because every time I prepare for like 10-15 minutes only and at the end I come to know that it's a 40 minute session. So you might just, uh, you can just leave after 20 minutes once I'm done and attend some other session. Uh, okay, so this is all about productivity, right? Uh, yeah, so how many of you sitting here have your name starting from the word A, alphabet A? Uh, just one? Wow. Or two? Okay, that's totally irrelevant question. Let's start. Uh, so, yeah, you know this guy, right? Uh, no, by the way, he did metallurgical engineering, if you don't know. Uh, and immediately pursued, you know, went for job uh, for the UPSC exam, went for Indian Revenue Services and then went for Aam Admi Party and so no I am not an AAP supporter, I am not going to speak about him. This slide is just because that is the phenomena right now which comes to your mind. Okay, There are other examples as well especially if you talk about politics right. Uh, the Chief Minister of Goa, Manohar Parikar, he is an IITN. Uh, right now Chief Minister of uh, Maharashtra, Prithira Shagwan, he's from Bitspulani and then Caltech. In fact, he's a very high-tech engineer who decided to jump into politics because of Rajiv Gandhi. That's off the record. Uh, yeah. So, because of these people as well. Not just politics, there's a lot. There are many people who mm -hmm. are there, you know, who have done engineering and so, Raghuram Rajan, 85 IIT, then went to I'm Ahmedabad immediately. So I'm taking these examples because these are the people who didn't even consider putting their one year or two years into engineering after the degree, after they take the degree. And uh, immediately they went for management, they went for politics, they went for you know, administrative services, they went for anything. But what is the root cause? Because you know you always come across this question at your home with your relatives that, uh, Peter, why did you do engineering when you didn't have to do engineering? And especially when you are from IIT, BITS, NIT or even any good college where you have prepared for and you have been there, people will simply ask that why have you wasted a seat? I mean as if you know you have taken, asked for their daughter's hand or something, they are so serious about this thing. You have just taken a seat, you prepared, you deserved it, they don't understand all these things. But it's fine. So Chetan Bhagat Raghuram Rajan, Course Economics and Literature, both the people, IIT Delhi alumni. So here's a sample specimen of uh, a degree from Bitspilani. I, I couldn't find my degree because it's not with me right now. So, so I'm, I'm graduated, that's for sure. So, yeah. So, one very basic aspect about B or B Tech, which we always forget, which we do. This is going to be a very generic talk, guys. So, I mean, you know, if you really think that you're going to make a lot of notes or think or learn something extremely new, no. It's just uh, I've collected or collected the pieces from here and there and observations. I've spoken to a uh, few friends who have been engineers, few friends who have not been engineers, taken, went into management, went into economics and other, uh, even arts. And then from employer's perspective, this talk is going to cover that as well. That why do people, companies hire engineers for non-engineering jobs as well? Because that is where really the crux comes that, you know, what did, what do you actually learn? What is there, you know, in a degree or what's there 
uh, which you learnt in the college while doing engineering, not about engineering. So all these concepts we'll co cover. So how much of engineering you actually know? What do you think? I mean, you know, once that, and remember that's a bachelor's degree, right? B. So how much of engineering you guys think? Uh, what was your discipline? Uh, mechanical. Mechanical. So how much of mechanical engineering have you done? On the scale of one to ten. Yeah, on a scale of one to ten. Two maybe. Two. Uh, anyone apart from you two guys, apart from you, because you're going to be an engineer, so you'll definitely rate yourself ten. Apart from him, anyone else who thinks that they have actually been into engineering, learned engineering while being in college. Okay, he is one guy. It's fine. See, right now he is clicking photographs and he is be, he'll be speaking on virality. virality yeah. Engineering virality. Yeah, that you can relate. So, I mean, my answer is very simple. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is, and it is the case uh, because... Uh, Guys, it is supposed to be Bachelor of Engineering, right? If you do not pursue Masters, you do not know. You know, I have done Civil Engineering. Nobody can hire me to construct a bridge or to construct even a small building or even to maintain a sewage plant. Forget everything else. You know, I cannot, I, I cannot, I am not eligible to take care of the shit of people. That's true, literally, if, if, even if I am a Civil Engineer. So, but a very important aspect about it is that you are not also supposed to because Again, here comes the concept of specialization, right? That's why masters is there. And especially if you talk about, uh, it all starts from the curriculum, how the curriculum has designed. In most of the colleges, first year or first two years is very common. Okay, wherein you are taught sciences, maths, you are taught, so that you can learn the basic things and those fundamentals are formed, so that if you want to pursue engineering, and there are no difficulties faced by you, when you actually do your courses, because all these things are enablers. And then you meet friends, then you get into cultural activities, then you get into everything other than engineering. So that's what happens, right? So, you know, before starting, I'm going to take the case of this one guy. Whom, so this guy mailed resume so to work as sales and marketing person uh, in your story. Okay, and you look. He has done Bachelor of Technology, B.Tech in Avionics from Indian Institute of Space Sciences and Technology, IAST. His All India Rank IIT, so this is his resume which he sent. IIT Rank 4150, ATPD Rank 2004, Bitsat score, and uh, all his projects were totally, you know, one, economics, otherwise digital circuit, this year's work that becomes Sarabhai Space Center. So, see, this, it's not to blame this guy. I mean, honestly, you can blame that, oh, the guy who has wasted such an important seat of IIST, he could have been next Abdul Kalam or he could have been you know, he could have launched the mission to Mars probably or the mission to Jupiter somewhere. And what he has done instead, he is actually, you know, applying. And, and cover letter I haven't put in cover letter, he is very uh, clearly said that, you know, I am I, I, passionate about marketing, I am passionate about uh, sales and I want to... Uh, and yesterday I was talking to him, so all he knew about marketing and sales was that uh, wherein you go and you sell stuff. So that is fine, I am not going to blame him, but... Uh, you just see, this is where students are going. This is how the crowd is migrating. And from an employer perspective, it's fine. Because if I see, if I'm an employer, I'm going to recruit a person, I'm going to recruit based on what kind of environment has he been through his four years. So that is more important than what has he learned in that specific, uh, specific uh, discipline. So how does it all start, right? How does it, this whole thing start? First of all, it's a very Indian context. I'll tell you why. So, uh, you're done with 9th, 10th. So, people have this thing. So, this is all the uh, parameters or all the listings which will come now, here on. I have spoken to people and that's what they have told me. And not just one person, at least four or five people. Uh, so, from different uh, backgrounds. So, there's this one guy who told me that I was very clear that if I get above 80%, I'm going to uh, go for an engineering. Uh, I'm going to take sciences. Otherwise, my parents will force me to take commerce or arts. So, 10th, he got 80%. Yes, let's take science. Next comes the next hurdle, 12th. So, 12th, he have done, you know, he got 88% and uh, he wrote some examination, some state CET examination and then AEEE. So, he couldn't get through the national level. So, state, now, which comes, which branch? Now, this question comes and it's very simple. Uh, right now, 
where's the boom, right? I mean, and and it all it all depends on those small headlines in newspapers which your parents might see. Oh, mechanical has a boom. What are you doing? Take mechanical. So this thing is very common. So this top branch parameter is, you know, one of the worst things. And then later on, people might regret, might not regret. But this is the 12th marks thing. And then finally, what you do in college is this. You arrange parties. You get involved. It's true. You get involved. So, like, I was a part of photography club in college. I was a part of national service scheme, doing some social service because I really liked it. I was a part of Hindi press club into journalism. I was a part of Wall Street club. And they, and there were technical clubs as well. And I was not a part of it. So were, I'm, I'm pretty sure like 80% of people are not. And people who are probably because they want a certificate in the technical festival. So they can project that uh, uh, international technical festival. And so that's a, that's a skewed mentality where it comes from. But uh, you know, this is what you get into. Now, still, I'll say that you should go and do engineering. For what? Why? Okay. First is the analytical skills. Because, you know, studying for four years, you know, one night preparation, giving the examinations, uh, getting into relationships, getting out of relationships, you know, preparing for festivals, going to raise sponsorship, you know, meeting with friends, deciding. So, there are so many things which are around you, there are so many people around you, there are so many decisions which you have to take, okay, and uh, here the quantity, the amount of all these things is crazy. That's where somewhere your analytical skills really develop, okay, and most of it is because of your co-curricular activities only, right, and somewhere because of the bulk of the students going there and college are also promoting themselves, they actually uh, hover a lot on this thing. That rather than promoting that, you know, I have so there are two things which they promote, right? One, I'll talk about the placement, okay, and the other thing is about uh, what kind of cultural activities we have, what kind of exposure we get, you know, right? Uh, because uh, so I'm from a place called Katni in Madhya Pradesh. It's near Jabalpur, very small place, but it has one international school, and the kind of advertisement these people do is crazy. So the yeah, I mean, they charge close to ninety thousand for a kg kit per month, okay, and uh, so, like schools advertise, you know, we have horse riding, we have swimming pool. I mean, they'll never say we have uh, great people or these other students who have graduated from this school and been here. They'll speak about this thing. And the similar tr trend is followed by colleges, wherein they'll say that we have uh, these, our cultural festival is this, and these are the people who have come to our college. Other thing is people. So, you know, the kind of people which are around you. Wow. One minus one plus. It's fine. Uh, it's so easy to track people. Yeah, so it's about people. Uh, you know, so the people around you, they really affect you a lot. What you are today, probably a lot of, it is because of how, what kind of people you interacted with in your college, right? It can be your seniors, it can be your friends, it can be your alumni who keep on coming or going, it can be uh, the professors, it can be your juniors, anyone, right? So it really matters a lot what kind of people are there. And uh, and, and since uh, most of the people today, I mean, you know, opt for engineering, so there's a decent chance that you'll find people whom you can get inspired from in that circle. Third one is, which I spoke about, one night confidence, right? You study, you prepare everything, and the curriculum, thanks to the curriculum, right, the way it has been designed, that you cannot fail. It's very simple. You cannot fail. it. You really have to work hard to fail. You really have to work hard. I mean, I have met people who have worked really hard, really hard, and still they could manage an E or, you know, some, if the passing criteria is 33% and 35%. Because teachers also want, let this guy go. You know, they don't want people who don't study to stuck around and stay. So, you know, it's, it's all about that. And, and the kind of confidence you get, so, and, and it's true, people, you'll find most of the genius people whom, whom Either they themselves consider themselves genius or the people who study for one night and they get, how much did you study? Whole month, whole semester? What did you score like? What, 80%? Uh, great. One night. Just one night, 70%. And, and that confidence goes on, carries on with you when you go around that. Okay, there's a project I have to deliver one night. Huh? We have one night. Okay, guys, we have done that before. Let's do it again. Okay, and, and it's like whole of the world is right now running on this. 
and and it's, it's all about the confidence it, and it started in because you remember in school you never used to do that you used to sleep at 9 pm right because you, and you'll be doing your homework and you'll be shit scared when you are reached in the morning and you don't know what, uh, i haven't done homework oh my god and in the night even at 8 or 9 before dinner if you have ha if you haven't done that that means it's not going to be done so you know this thing now let's talk about why this talk this conversation is all about indian context to, if i go to us i can't say that why is it fine to have an engineering degree and not be an engineer because there if people have done it it's very costly there okay in india it's now the prices have increased a little bit the fee structure but otherwise it's still very cheap as compared to what globally the fee of fee structure of engineering is so this is uh, very much an indian context and it's true if you are good in academics and even if you are not good in academics if you are into academics basically uh, people around you know society beta engineering karoge ya medical they'll never ask uh, are you planning to do commerce are you going to be an artist are you they'll never ask never and they you know they, they won't even ask this question with their own children forget about the others children right and and they they suppose that if somebody has performed well in 10th or 12th that person has to go for an iit or an aims or uh, other medical colleges so what's their reaction if if you say that no no i am not going to do engineering and medical this is their reaction oh my god your son has gone mad he is not doing engineering are you crazy what is going to do with his life i mean and and the reason simple and you know satya nadella there was a joke when satya nadella became the ceo of microsoft that uh, his relatives it's a, just a joke he asked that uh, why did you join microsoft didn't you get through infosys and, and it's true it's true like you know that that's what their reaction always is so and this is the reason why the society has formed because one is because of those newspaper headlines somewhere right that this is the boom right now narayan murthy says that i am going to hire 2 lakh engineers and people say that oh my god my son my daughter should be one among those two like they never think that my son or my daughter should be one of one of those mf hussain or one of those uh, how can i not ignore third person reading but uh, so this is the reason you know the job scenario and it's very i'll say that it's uh, i mean people have this restriction very bounded by this thing so how many of you know about uh, what i'm talking about right now any guesses so i'll tell you <laughs> switch uh, the mass hiring in indian it sector is normally i mean at, at places named as switch hiring so correct correct so so s for satya W for Wipro, I for Infosys, T for TCS, C for Cognizant, and H for HCL. So, so S is now T anyway. So I didn't want to make it twitch. It was very weird. So let it be switch only. So the whole ecosystem of these bus or mass recruiters is really weird, and it's somewhere killing the aspirations of many young people because what people see is. those headings if if you know english then your I mean, if your parents know english and they'll be reading economic times and every week once or twice they will carry right these many people are hiring this wipro is hiring these many you know they'll somewhere miss those headlines wherein they'll see that you know infosys has actually kicked out 2 lakh people or you know 20000 people they'll see that what is the plan for next year and they'll think about oh four year later this, this is going to happen so this whole mentality has been set up by these companies So now let's talk about uh, the employer perspective. This guy is Pallav Nadhani from Fusion Charts. Okay, so their uh, most of the clients are Fortune 500 companies. Okay, so he spoke when when you you know interact with him, he said that you know what is there in a sheet of paper? It's like a sheet of paper, you know, a degree. And uh, see, he these are the people who are self-made professionals, entrepreneurs, highly respected people, and. Uh, they do not intend to disrespect a degree but they are saying that it's all about what you are rather than what you have studied that specific thing okay and i'll just talk about attitude as well so he clearly said that you know it cannot really decide who you are there's one company named thoughtworks which goes to recruitment in campuses and they have recently changed their policies i don't know if it was there right from the beginning what they do now is that they go and they don't shortlist based on, based on resume 
and they take at least 10, 20, 10, 15 people from the company for recruitment, not just one or two. And they'll make sure that they interact with everyone who is interest, interested in joining ThoughtWorks. They'll speak and they won't consider no resume allowed, no CV allowed. You're not supposed to speak about the projects which you have done or about what discipline you are. They, in fact, want to keep themselves out of it. So even bigger companies are right now implying this whole thing. So I am from your story, so I spoke to, uh, you know, I was speaking to Shraddha because I really wanted to, Shraddha is the founder of your story, understand her perspective because we are a company into, we are an online media platform, right? Remotely, it's the only engineering work is uh, what Chandan does, he's our CTO, <laughs> okay? So the coding, the back end part, right? I mean the coding, the products and all those things, but everything else, writers. So our writers right now, if you talk about engineers, okay? People into sales and marketing are engineers. Uh, designer isn't designer, uh, you know, fortunately. But so, she said a very important part and it's true. That you can teach a person a skill and that's really important for any employer when they hire. They select a person for the attitude. If you are ready to work, if you are ready to, you know, learn things. Because even, uh, and, it, and it's true, all the companies which hire from IITs also, they take people into IT and coding who are not from the, that background simply because they can learn quickly. They take it because they know that these are the smart people and because of their attitude. Okay, I'll just, I'll just pay them this much and they're going to learn things really fast. So rather than taking someone and training because they really believe that they haven't learned anything and I'm talking about IITs right now. Okay, companies, you, you take any example, Oracle, Microsoft, Yahoo, every, each and every company has a proper orientation and uh, training uh, period. Okay, they might take most of the people from computer science background, but a lot of people are, especially Oracle kind of companies, Oracle Financial Services, they'll take people from various background. And because they believe in quick learning, this is whole thing. Uh, somewhere, you know, we find out, the engineers find out uh, a way to be structured. Though we live very unstructured life, but somewhere we find a way to be structured. So that is another reason. And third thing is, of course, uh, a rigorous curriculum. So, the marking scheme is not rigorous, but the curriculum is really rigorous. I mean, if you read the books of basic electrical engineering, you should really sometimes go and see how much effort that person has put. He really wanted us to study engineering. Though we don't do it, but he really wanted. Somewhere deep in his heart, each and every author who has written the book, the book which is followed, even AICT, uh, when they decide on books, they really go through the curriculum, what is there. They try to make sure that an engineer who comes out from any college of India actually knows engineering, which really doesn't happen. So, but since you have gone through it, you, you try to pick up things and that attitude is really important. So now let's talk about, you know, why, what your BE or BTEC is what. So you have done, if, if you have presented a paper, well, thousands of other people have presented. If you have done a project, even, even if you have done a project in, at, you know, some atomic center, Bhava Atomic Research Center, there are around 150 or 200 people who do it every semester and more than that. So nothing is unique about it, right? So it's CV is same. You talk about creating things. What have you created? You never create anything, right? I mean, you learn at max. You know, I guess sometimes I feel that in school you were more creative. You have created more stuff. You know, somewhere at least you have created the windmill model. You have, you have created uh, that biogas plant. I mean, at least you have done something, you know? So, but whereas when it comes to engineering, as it's, you, you just forget. And for people who are really interested in engineering, uh, there's one friend of mine who right now works with Zomato. And uh, he takes care of uh, the app development section. That guy, his discipline is MSc Chemistry and uh, the uh, Electronics and Instrumentation. So he started coding when he was in fourth year. So we were in five year courses. He started when he was in fourth year. And I'm just giving an example that, you know, when you really want to get into it, what all it takes. He just coded like crazy. He did all the optional courses possible for coding. He applied for GSOC, Google Summer of Code. He got through it. And so if you see, there is so much of information available in open source and not just uh, computer science, everything. Coursera is there, right? You go register yourself. So it's really your degree doesn't matter. Okay, your degree, if you're really specific about it. The environment, yes, I'll agree. The people, yes, agree. Okay, the attitude, yes, agree. So, but if you talk about the learning, so, 
and then somewhere we we miss on the motive of education the motive of education is not just to impart knowledge it's to apply right how many you know how many of uh, you have seen uh, you know your professors actually urging you that why don't you apply if you see because i mean there are multiple reasons right they they don't get paid enough so that they can teach from the bottom of their heart they just teach from the top of their mouth right now but uh, it is true that the motive of education is not about imparting education it's about making sure that it's being applied somewhere and not through just by projects or something it has to go to the next level you know this guy okay have you heard of alfred hitchcock he is the one he is an amazing uh, director you know makes movie having said all the things about engineering you know you really have to give it to this statement okay somebody said about him his ability to think like an engineer that gave the film making pioneer his edge so why did he have this edge because all through his time he used to think like an engineer you know how to cut short on resources how to you know he, if you don't have budget what to do if you have less time what to do if you have uh, uh, less people how will you manage so all these things are really important so the kind of environment you are in it it really matters a lot and you know this this is what you are actually once you have done the engineering you know honestly this is what you are you really have to peel yourself out to know who you are because from outside everyone is an orange right from inside somebody might be this is a green apple wow and somebody might be you know something else so what you basically learn is it you have to discover yourself kind of this thing i guess that should be it thank you so much let's call that guy and say the recipe we should go and take some other questions are questions question is there a question any question no question so who uh, how many of you actually have right now are doing engineering stuff coding coding no no i know coding but what what are you up to right now like how you are into the computer information information science coding very good open source open source great great so let's see after 10 years i hope that you don't do engineering anything or something any other questions no questions how was the talk taking this tag I have a question not related to this. Yeah. Why do many engineers take up engineering? Why? Why do many engineers? Or rather, I'll put it up this way: 90% of people who attend the CAT are non-engineers. I mean, engineers. Yeah, it's true. Why? You know that lady sitting there. She, she is probably going to uh, kill me for this, but uh, she's a very good friend of mine. In fact, very close friend, Arpita. She has given CAT mm -hmm. an engineer, information sciences, information. sciences right systems so you should ask that question with our offline but i i'll tell you my perspective because see you are made you are made to think that you are really smart once you have done engineering at the same time you are made to think that engineering job is not for smart people simple like <laughs> that's why you go for an mba or you know for masters if you really are into engineering both the things they they are not really related but it's uh, wow i can run through my yeah that's the advantage of having less number of slides you can run through in 2 minutes guys it's over but if you want i can run through in 2 minutes so it's perfectly fine so yeah this is primarily the reason why i think See, this is the most important slide for the new comers you know you can actually old people can just go and attend other sessions i won't ask you Just two minute quick round, Abhinav. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this is the most important slide. Please turn off your phone. And why is it fine to have an engineer? No, I'm not an app supporter. I'm not going to speak about Arvind Kejriwal. But this is the phenomena right now. If you talk about someone who has done engineering and not posting engineering. By the way, do you know which session is this? Good. Time is up.